We're going to talk to Wayne Allen Root. He was the vice presidential nominee for the uh, Libertarian Party in 2008. Uh, he is the host of the Wayne Allen Root Show. Uh, he's also got RootForAmerica.com, WayneRoot.com. There's a lot of websites. Uh, Wayne, welcome to the Young Turks. Hey, Jake. How are you? Good to be on. Thank All you. All right. Um, I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, Wayne, you wrote a piece called Leftist Media's Unfair Tea Party Coverage. How has the leftist media been uh, terribly unfair, though? Well, I mean, I can't pick up a newspaper or turn on a regular TV interview, and I'm talking about uh, ones in the mainstream media. I'm not commenting on liberal media because I have no idea. I don't read it. I, I certainly can't watch an MSNBC or CNN or pick up the New York Times without seeing vicious, biased articles that make it seem like everyone at Tea Party is an idiot and a racist and wants to murder the President of the United States none of which is true. There is no basis, in fact, for any of it. Matter of fact, I'm a Jewish kid from New York with an Ivy League degree. I was Barack Obama's college classmate, by the way, Columbia University, class of 83. I think I'm an articulate, intelligent, conservative libertarian. And uh, I think most of the people I've met at Tea Parties, and I've been the headline speaker at uh, dozens of them all over the United States, tend to be exactly what, uh, interestingly, the most recent poll found. More intelligent, more educated, and higher incomes than the average American. So it's time to stop denigrating, and it's time to stop saying that they're dumb, because they're not. They're middle Americans and, and, and above, small business owners, who, like me, who make good money and are sick of redistributing our wealth to others who didn't earn it. We're the ones that are getting screwed. All right. Now, we can talk about the race issues uh, forever. And, you know, I, I don't know if you're in the camp of no one ever said anything racist at a Tea Party and not to the congressman, et cetera. Uh, or that you say, hey, they're a small minority. Uh, you know, I'm, the small minority point I don't think is a bad one. Saying they didn't say it is a little crazy, if you ask me. But well, for, for, here's what I'll say. Wait, first of all, you can't say it's a little crazy. Somewhere in America, somewhere at some tea party, I'm sure someone said something racist and used the N-word, and who knows what else they said or used. I'm sure somewhere someone threatened President Obama. I'm sure somewhere someone threatened someone. But... All I could tell you is the one in Washington where the two uh, congressmen walked through a crowd. First of all, they were trying to incite a riot, in my opinion. Well, so they would look they like they heroes. The yeah. hey, they Wayne, were trying to incite and cause trouble. Wayne, if you think the crowd is so peaceful and would never do anything violent, why does walking through that crowd incite a riot? They were hoping they'd hear the N-word. They were hoping someone would punch them in the face so they could prove that Tea Parties are filled with vicious, terrible human beings who just want to hurt people, and it's all about violence. And, of course, it never happened. There's no way if someone used the N-word, it wouldn't have been picked up by all the many dozens of microphones from the TV and radio media from all over the country that were there, and nobody has ever proven that that word was used. But let's say it was. Let's say it was used. Who cares? Somewhere in America, there's a person at Harvard or Yale that's a Nazi. That doesn't mean everyone who goes to Harvard and Yale is a Nazi, does it? No, no. So, you know, no, to who... say that one person in the crowd said something, Bank, just doesn't mean that Tea Party crowds are racist. They're not. Do Wayne, I dislike President Wayne, Obama? Wayne, 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 Wayne. Look, I started by saying I'm, I accept the point that they don't represent everybody at the Tea Parties. So you're coming back to that. Well, then we're well, you agreeing. Can't, hold on. No, we're not agreeing. Because are you telling me that John Lewis and Heath Shuler and all those guys, white congressmen, black congressmen, all got together, they had this conspiracy, hey, let's walk th to the Capitol building where they work, let's walk through that crowd that has assembled in front of the Capitol building, hopefully they'll, they'll do something to us, oh, they didn't, and then they get inside the Capitol building and they say, all right, let's hatch a conspiracy, where let's claim that they used the N-word, let's tell the press, and do we all agree to lie about it? Yes, all right, great, and all those congressmen lied about it. You think they made it up like that? I think most congressmen should be in prison at this point because they're all liars and thieves, and that includes Republicans just as much as Democrats. So you're not talking to somebody who loves conservatives and hates liberals. You're talking to someone who believes pretty much everyone on Capitol Hill is bought and paid for. It just depends who bought and paid you. Most Democrats are paid off by different companies than Republicans are paid off by. But I wouldn't trust any of them as far as you could spit. So, yeah, I think there's a chance they absolutely did do that on purpose, and they did make up the fact that the words were used. But I don't know that to be a fact, and I wouldn't accuse them of it. I think it's possible. That's all. Right. I see, that's what I think is crazy. Okay, now, uh, let's get to the main issue here. The qu question is, are the Tea Party people idiots? And, uh, you know, I, I want to reach out to them. I have reached out to them uh, in saying, hey, look, you guys are against the bailouts. We're against the bailouts. 
Uh, and, you know, you think the government is corrupt. We think the government is corrupt. And exactly. So, th so there could be a natural par uh, partnership here. The problem there is... There should be. There, there, there should I, be. Here. Right. Now, hold on, Wayne. There should be. Except the problem is the Tea Party people are idiots. It's because they get suckered into s supporting corporate America that's buying the politicians in the first place. So they were supposed um, to be um, against the bailouts, and then they come. When's the, name me a, a protest they've done against Wall Street. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm a libertarian, and i got to tell you, the only party I know of in America, not Democrats, not Republicans, not liberals, not conservatives, the only party that from day one has said that, uh, you know, Washington, D.C. is corrupt, and corporations are corrupt, and Wall Street's corrupt, and it all turned out to be true, was the Libertarian Party. So right, but why aren't you protesting that? Agrees. So why aren't What's you protesting? Why, look, the AFL-CIO is doing a rally on Wall Street on April 29th. That makes sense. Why is the Tea Party guys... Join them. Why didn't you guys beat them to the punch? Why aren't you well, doing a protest on Wall Street for stealing our money? It's so funny. That's what makes the Libertarian Party, in my opinion, unique, because we agree that Wall Street has tremendous corruption involved, but we also agree that if it's anything worse than Wall Street, it's certainly the unions in this country. So I wouldn't stand alongside AFL-CIO if you handed me a million dollars. I've never seen such corruption in my life and such conflict of interest and such fraud. Wayne, as do you the protest. I don't give a damn. I don't think that's true at all. But who cares? Do the protest without them. Do the protest before them. Do the protest after them. Why aren't you at Wall Street when you claim to care about the bailouts? Because the Tea Party people got led by the nose by people like Americans for Prosperity and these think tanks that are bought by corporate America. And they got redirected into helping corporate America, especially with the health care protests, and they haven't done a damn thing against Wall Street because they're stupid. Hey, Jenks, if you go to my website, Root for America, and you go back to all my blogs, you go back about six months or four months, you'll find a, a blog or commentary there by me, Wayne Allen Root, ripping the hell out of Goldman Sachs and talking about the corruption and the fraud and the fact that they should be indicted. That was four to six months ago. I can't tell you the exact date. Where are the protests? Look. Listen, <laughs> I'm someone who believes that Obama is as crooked as they come, just as Bush was as crooked as they came, and Obama's bought and paid for by the same, uh, in some cases, the same corporate contributors, and in other cases, very different ones. But either way, there's a lot in common between the Bushes and the Obamas, and I think liberals ought to start admitting that. Where I mean, are the protests? anti-war president. How Where are the now? protests? Is why are the only, you, you're not answering the question, why are the only Tea Party protests in favor of corporate America and not against corporate America well, for buying those politicians you claim you're so upset about? The only thing I could say to you in response to that is, I'm a guy who believes in the private sector and private industry, and uh -huh. I don't feel any great need to protest Goldman Sachs. I feel a much stronger need to protest government employee unions that are ripping people off for far bigger oh, numbers great. than Goldman Oh, great. Attack the workers. Sachs. That's a great idea. So when with the Wall Street bankers... Uh, took these enormous risks, they destroy our economy, your answer is blame the workers there. Not, not the executives, hey, but the people working at, at, at the ground level, the middle class in America. Hey, Jenks, don't put words in my mouth. I agree that there's blame, enough blame to go around for all of them. Where are the protests? I think Goldman Sachs absolutely should never have gotten a bailout. I then don't think why don't you protest at Goldman Sachs? Where's the Tea Party protest in front of Goldman Sachs? Why hasn't that happened? When is it going to happen? I I'm the headline speaker at a lot of tea parties around the country, and believe me, I blast the Goldman Sachs of the world. All I can tell you is I'm against bailouts, period. I believe it's corruption because government got contributions, people like Obama and Bush and Paulson, and you name the Treasury Secretary or the Fed Chief like Bernanke, they all get contributions from major corporations, and then when those corporations take risks and it explodes in their face, they expect a bailout. I call that corruption. I call it fraud. I call it ripping off taxpayers. So I agree with you. We're talking away in Alan Root. We're talking away in Alan Root. He ran as the vice presidential nominee for the Libertarian Party in 2008. Wayne, last time here. Uh, look, I, what I'm trying to figure out is if you're an earnest guy and you, you, you've just been misdirected by these guys and you don't even know what's happening, or if you're part of the scam. Because if you guys cared so much about this, why wouldn't you be protesting the people who took the money? I, I think I do every day. If you read my book, The Conscious of the Libertarian, it talks about Where the are the Tea the Party book. protests that you're speaking at? Why aren't they at Wall Street? Why aren't they directed at the bailouts? Why aren't they directed when, um, at, at the great looting of the American people? You write about yeah, it, but how come the protests aren't there? Because Americans for Prosperity, etc., Plan the buses and the protest signs and the frickin' Dunkin' Donuts for protests that help corporate America 
every single Jake? time. Jake, here's what's interesting. If a man was accused of a crime and he happened to be a minority, would you say he was guilty just because he was charged? Would you jump into it or would you defend him as a liberal and say he's not guilty and just because he's black doesn't make him guilty and you're a racist if you think he's guilty? I've got to think maybe you're piling on a little bit here because you think Goldman Sachs is guilty. I have to think the bailouts were a terrible thing. But Goldman Sachs, I'm not a fan of, but I'll reserve judgment on these charges. My guess is they probably beat them. So here you are jumping on your high horse, attacking Goldman Sachs as if that's the end of the world, when you don't know if they're guilty yet. As a matter of fact, the SEC commissioners voted 3-2 to two to charge them. I wouldn't exactly call that a gigantic vote in favor of uh, pure guilt. Of course. So, I mean, you know who the two were? All, all the news, don't tar and feather them yet. We don't know yet whether they're going to be found guilty. Don't get that's, too crazy about it. All right, that's, that's perfect. Saying. Okay, first of all, the two votes were, of course, the two Republicans that wanted to protect Goldman Sachs. And here we have, at the end, your idea is, hey, let's take it easy on Goldman Sachs. You don't know that they necessarily did. How about AIG? How about the backdoor bailout? $13 billion of taxpayer money going to pay off Goldman Sachs bets. Forget court of law, civil suit, criminal suit. The $13 billion, our money, went to Goldman Sachs. Everybody knows that's wrong. Correct. Hey, okay, Jenks, so why aren't you at to... Goldman Sachs? Uh, hey, Jenks, you're expecting me to fight you on this, Jenks. I'm not. As a matter of fact, I wrote a commentary about it and said specifically that Goldman Sachs has people who have retired as partners that are running literally entire countries, Treasury Departments, uh, Federal Reserve, presidents of countries, right, number wait. one financial advisors, wait. and they specifically, literally bailed out AIG so that that money would then be paid back to Goldman Sachs or Goldman Sachs would have gone under. But when I push comes to shove, when push comes to shove, you say, hey, wait a minute, let's not judge Goldman Sachs yet and let's not do any protests there. So let me ask you this, Wayne. What's your answer? Okay, Because my answer is, uh, if they want to do side bets on these exotic derivatives, not, not all derivatives, some derivatives make sense, they are hedges, I understand that, but the naked credit default swaps, etc., those, those are just side bets. I wouldn't allow them to make side bets because if they lose, we lose, they take the money from us. So what's your answer? Do you agree that we should at least regulate that? I believe there's got to be some reining in of derivatives. I will not argue with you on that. I think we've got to allow private industry to run free for the most part, but no question derivatives that cause literally the entire empire of the United States and other empires like Great Britain uh, to, to literally almost topple. You've got to look into it and find out if there's a way to limit that risk. No question about that, but overall, overall you and I don't agree for only one reason. I think government usually makes it worse. I'll give you the best example. I was the CEO of a public company. Sarbanes-Oxley was the worst law ever written. What government writes, Cenk, doesn't make it better. It often makes it worse. It puts companies out of business. So I don't know that government or anyone in politics has the answer because those guys in Congress have no, never no, but you run a company. But, but, Wayne, that's the problem. We're, and we're talking to Wayne Allen Root. Uh, he's uh, written the, about the Tea Party phenomenon, libertarian candidate in 08 for vice president, might be the presidential candidate in 2012. The website is rootforamerica.com. Wayne, that's the problem. You're, you're saying, on the one hand, obviously we need to regulate that because it makes perfect sense. On the other hand, you're saying government shouldn't do anything. But that doesn't make sense. Shouldn't the no, government should do the regulation? When people have asked me in the past, Jack, do I think any government regulation is valid? I always say, you know, the SEC is one I agree with, to make sure that, you know, stockholders and, and uh, stock investors are not ripped off. I've always used that as an example. You've got to have some regulation over Wall Street. But there's a fine line, and I find that the left and liberals, such as your program and your listeners, often don't understand government makes things worse. You should be the most <laughs> distrustful of government, the most, even more than a conservative or a Tea Party or a libertarian. Liberals know that government screws up everything it touches That's and discriminates a, against people so, and makes things so worse. So you're against, you're against the troops, right? I mean... Because I'm against what now? You're against the troops, right? Because that's government, uh, the military, uh, obviously. Well, I'm not against troops. I love the military, but I think we should get out of Iraq and Afghanistan. I think it's ridiculous. I don't think we belong there. I think we're wasting a trillion dollars or more. I think every day we're, we're allowing boys and, our boys and girls to die there for something that makes absolutely no sense when they're screaming Americans go home. They don't appreciate we're there, so I say it's time to get out. We and agree we on that, there but Wayne, Wayne, we agree on your Iraq stance, and I read about that. But listen, I, I, I didn't want to get sidetracked on this, but we got to wrap it up on this. What, what I never understand about the libertarians is that it appears you guys bordering, uh, border on anarchists. 
Do I think you you make assumptions about liberals and and liber, uh, and, and leftists, so-called leftists? I think obviously the government should be in some things, and obviously it shouldn't. Who's going to build the roads? The government's going to build the roads. Who's going to maintain the military, the police, the fire department? The government is obviously. But some things like making sneakers, they shouldn't be involved in. See these. The question should be, where, should the government, where does the government make sense and where does it? When you say the government screws up everything it touches, it shouldn't be in anything, that sounds a little crazy. That sounds anarchist, doesn't it? Well, I'm not, I'm not an anarchist. I'm for limited government, but I'm not for no government. I can tell you that much. I believe the government has a role. Its role is to protect us from foreign invaders, as Thomas Jefferson would tell you. Its role is to protect us from being killed, murdered in the street, or robbed at our own homes. Government has a function. It's got to provide military. It's got to provide police fire, it's got to pick up the garbage. But beyond that, you've got to limit government, because the more it does, the more damage it does to private sector and capitalism. So to tie the two things together, can we agree that as the government is cops and fire, etc., that we need the government to be refs in the market, the SEC, regulating derivatives, breaking up the big banks if they're uh, taking out a, a control risks as they were, and endangering the whole economy, etc. Can we agree that the government should at least do that? Yeah, we agree that, and we agree the government should have never bailed out any of those companies in the first place. In capitalism, you don't bail people out. If they take risks, they make mistakes, and they explode or implode, you let them explode, and that means people get punished for their terrible risk-taking, and that means that new companies will build themselves in a way that they don't take those risks in the future. But if you reward them with a bailout, Jank, all you're doing is you're incentivizing people to take those same risks all over again in the future because they know government will be there to protect them. So the final thing that I ask of you is not a question, but it's uh, a request. Since sure. you, you are saying you're against the bailouts and you're against Goldman Sachs uh, with the AIG backdoor bailout, etc., can you, I mean, you're an uh, influential guy within the movement. Can you put together a protest on Wall Street? Uh, if, any Tea Party protest, shut me up. So I can't. So I don't keep yelling and screaming about how the Tea Party guys are idiots I, I misdirected by corporate America. I may just take you up on that, Jake. Listen, I'm disgusted by, for the most part, Goldman Sachs too. I just all I said earlier in this conversation is let's not rush to judgment yet because they haven't been found guilty. But it sure appears that they have committed, in my opinion, fraud. It sure appears, allegedly. Let's be careful what we say here. That they have committed fraud and they have literally burned an awful lot of people in this country. So when we'll you put together you put together a big Tea Party protest on Wall Street and that demands that they be regulated so they stop collapsing our economy and I'll show up, okay? And and the last thing I'll say to you is they didn't collapse the economy, they helped. Government had a lot to do with oh, it too. Come on, Remember, see, that's who's watching them, Jake? Hey, Jenks, who's watching them? Who was, the FBC and but you didn't they want them watching them. The Republicans <laughs> deregulated everything. They said we shouldn't watch the banks. They, they have this thing figured out. They could do it on their own. That's the problem with your ideology. It's dangerous. When you remove the government as the refs, that's when we have the collapse. No, what's dangerous is that the government can't even run OTB in New York, off-track betting. You can't lose money in gambling, Jenks. Yet they're in bankruptcy right now because government is pathetic at anything they do. You got to uh, give private industry a chance to do it better. All right, Wayne. I'll see you in. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you on Wall Street at the protest. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. All right, Jack, and I'll see you at the tea parties. All right, Root for America. Okay, Bye -bye. take care, Wayne Allen Root, Young Turks.